water. Probably one of the things that we take most for granted during our busy day. The water from this tap comes directly to our homes and businesses, pathogen free and safe to use. The average JCST customer uses 200 gallons of water per day for drinking, washing, cooking, bathing, and watering their lawn. Imagine if you turned on your tap and nothing came out. Now, certainly, we all understand how important water is to our health and safety, but how does this essential resource get to our homes, offices, and fire hydrants without us really thinking about it? The scope of this endeavor involves more than you'd imagine, and it starts in the San Gabriel Mountains. Nature provides us with the key elements of water filtration. Rain falls and it filters through layers of porous rock. It then percolates down into an aquifer, which is an underground lake, or it trickles down into a stream. Now this water coming to us without the benefits of modern treatment isn't always safe to use. So it's essential to our good health and well-being that all natural and man-made pollutants either be removed or reduced to safe levels. Founded in 1956, the Harupa Community Services District has been providing this service to an ever-growing community. Our powerful pumps bring the untreated water from these wells. And upon leaving these wells, disinfectants are injected to kill various bacteria. The water is transferred in pipes as large as 30 inches in diameter to our treatment plants, such as the Tea Garden Treatment Facility for nitrate removal. As part of our investment in a long-term regional partnership, JCSD also uses the Chino Basin Desalter Authority to source water. This is one of the most sophisticated managed groundwater basins in the United States. After processing, the water is delivered into any one of 17 closed storage tanks called reservoirs. The newest of which is our state-of-the-art, partially buried, 12 million gallon Sunny Slope Reservoir, giving this community a total capacity of 58 million gallons of clean, fresh water. Now we gotta get that water from these giant reservoirs into the thousands of homes and businesses throughout the two incorporated cities of Eastvale in the west and Harupa Valley in the east. And for that, we use good old fashioned gravity. Our reservoirs are positioned at optimal elevations to provide this district with the correct water pressure. As the water comes down through pipes into lower elevations, the water pressure will increase. This is why we have what we call pressure zones. This also explains why some residents require water pressure regulators. To move that much water into a community requires a complex infrastructure, capable of moving tens of thousands of gallons of water per minute along hundreds of miles of pipe. Sophisticated computerized electronics called SCADA controls keep that process automated to assure that water is always clean and flowing while reducing labor costs. As the water travels to your homes, we continually test and monitor it to assure it meets all federal and state drinking water regulations. Once the water's been used, it has to be delivered away from your home or business as it enters into the next phase of the water cycle. Sewer pipes are kept segregated from the water supply pipes to prevent contamination of the water system. State-of-the-art equipment, such as this robotic camera, is used to regularly inspect and maintain these pipes. JCSD Vactor trucks, valued at hundreds of thousands of dollars, are mobilized not just to maintain, but also to clear debris from trouble spots. The flow of sewage through most pipes uses gravity to move the wastewater to a collection point like this one, where lift stations pump the sewage to higher levels for delivery to a treatment facility. Lift stations require regular inspection, monitoring, and maintenance as well. JCSD delivers the sewage into any one of three large regional sewage treatment plants. It's clean and treated here because it's more environmentally responsible than building, operating, and maintaining smaller plants. Particulate and pathogenic organisms are removed from the wastewater by mechanical, biological, chemical, and natural treatment processes like live organisms that organically treat the waste. Most people don't realize that dumping hazardous materials such as fats, oils, and grease into drains can severely damage these biological processes. These treatment plants utilize environmentally responsible green energy sources such as solar power, natural gas, and biofuel. From here, the water is returned to the groundwater basins, and the cycle begins again. We currently reclaim some of this water for other uses, such as irrigation. In the near future, we will be reclaiming more and more of this water. 
Up to this point, we've only talked about the processing, delivery, and recovery of this precious resource. But because water is so vitally important to our daily lives, it's also a target for terrorism, both foreign and domestic. We've always had security at our water facilities. Since 9-11, that security's been upgraded by mandates set by Homeland Security. We've taken measures, most of which I can't talk about, to strengthen our security at all our facilities. Natural disasters also present challenges that we must prepare for. Fire is sometimes a tragic part of our lives. To minimize the damage done by fire, hydrants have to be maintained. If firefighters hook up a hose to a hydrant and little or nothing comes out, the resulting damage could be devastating to you and your community. In the dry tinderbox southland that we live in, we can't take anything for granted when it comes to fire. So when you see JCSD workers opening up fire hydrants and letting water flow, you know we're ensuring your health and safety in case of an emergency. From these obvious measures to the smallest details like utilizing valve exercise trucks, backflow preventers, and wireless meter reading devices, JCSD is taking steps to guarantee your water supply and safety. We all realize that living in a seismically active area like Southern California can present its own challenges. Our buildings, pumps, and reservoirs are all required to be built with earthquake resistive construction. And what if there is a natural disaster? How important does a clean water supply become? The answer to that question, vitally important. Humans can go without food for up to eight weeks, but in hot conditions like our summers, without water, dehydration can set in within mere hours. In a disaster scenario with no power, by design, the water will still flow by gravity to your homes, businesses, and fire hydrants, provided pipe infrastructure has not been damaged. Emergency backup generators are always maintained and are standing by as well to minimize any disruption in service when you need it most. Even under the best of circumstances, continued population growth requires us to meet that demand. Our team of engineers makes certain that as your community needs to grow, we can meet those needs and have the infrastructure ready to supply new homes and new businesses. From obtaining, treating, and delivering water and waste, to securing and providing for emergency contingencies and continued community growth, the men and women at JCSD work hard every day to make sure that you and your family can, in fact, perform a fundamental necessity in life. To drink clean, safe water, 